Well, hello everyone, Dan Hurt, Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here on my dream claim at the infamous ground sluice. We found more of it. There's more ground sluice. We're gonna clear it out today and hope for some more nuggets. So wish us luck and I hope you enjoy. Now, where we left this off last year, if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. We found an illegal ground sluice, a sluice that was built right into the bedrock from miners in the past. Not allowed here in BC. You're not allowed to modify the creek bed. So that's why I call it an illegal ground sluice. We started clearing it out and removing everything. Now, where I left things off, I said we were gonna take the grates and get rid of them. That's our plan for today. We're gonna go and carry those out of here. But I also said that it was done, that we got to the top edge of it. And that's cause, well, you know, I had to leave it for the winter. I didn't want claim jumpers in here. But really what it was is we found a really big rock sitting on the upper grates and we couldn't deal with it. Well, I spent a day in here yesterday with big pry bars and whatnot and rolled that big rock up out of the way. And today we're going down. We're going to clear the last little section. Well, we don't know how much there is. There might be one more grate. There might be a whole bunch more. We don't know. That's our job for today. And today helping me, we have Renegade Rick. Oh, <laughs> I've hired Rick today to uh, lend me some muscle because, you know, I'm getting old and feeble and these rocks are beyond me. So Rick is going to help me today get these out of here. So I'm four years younger than Dan, so I, I got a little bit more than <laughs> Four years, 40 maybe. <laughs> now all the rocks that are down here in the bottom of the sluice where we cleared out already, those were all sort of washed in or we piled them in there last time. There were some pretty big floods over the winter in the fall and that washed down a lot of gravel. This stuff here basically has nothing. We're gonna leave the big rocks in here on top of the concrete as reclamation. We're gonna try to bring this right back to natural state. The metal grates we're carrying out of here today. We're getting rid of them. We're gonna leave the big rock where it is. We just tipped it up to expose the grates behind it, but this guy, he's gonna stay here as well. We have to be careful of that guy there. We don't want him to slide down on us today. Rick says he uh, just checked underneath it. It seems fairly stable. And as far as going up the trough, we don't know how far it's gonna go. We know there's at least one more set of grates, but after that, no clue. It's about as stable as I am, Dan. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> And it's the end of April. Spring runoff has not started on this creek yet. It's a late spring runoff on this creek. So the water is still down. It is gorgeous out here. Beautiful day. It's gonna be hot by the time uh, noon rolls around. So right now what I'm doing while Rick is clearing out the rocks is I'm taking the grates right now. I'm bashing them really hard against two rocks and letting all the stuff that's in the grates fall out. Now that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to carry those grates up and out of here uh, because they'll be a whole lot lighter and any material that is sort of caught in there, maybe some gold, is now gonna be sitting right down in here. I will let spring runoff go and clear things out, but then I know between that rock there and this rock here, uh, there might be some gold stuck down in there. It would probably get caught underneath this rock. So after spring runoff, I'll probably come and move this rock and see if there was anything more in that material. But right now we just gotta clean those grates so we can get them out of here. Now one other thing I should mention, back in the fall when we were cleaning this out originally, I mentioned that this was left over from the old timers. Now I'm not talking gold rush era old timers. There is artificial turf in here, so that's like made in the 70s or something like that. I think that this sluice was probably left here sometime in the 80s. Those are the old timers I'm talking about. The old guys that were here, mine back in the 80s, built this into the riverbed and there were rules back then about doing this stuff, so it would have been illegal back then and they put it into the riverbed, let, you know, nature or whatnot wash off the banks, maybe even went and dumped from machines above down into this and let the river do the processing. Totally illegal, not allowed at all. But 
you know, back in the day, all sorts of things did happen. Nowadays, I would end up in jail if I tried to do something like that. And a lot of people said that if it was illegal to put in, it's illegal for me to take it out and, put, and take the gold from it. No, that's not the case. The ministry, the inspectors would be very happy that I'm taking this debris out of the river, trying to get the river back to more of a pristine state and getting this metal and plastic and all this stuff out of the river and reclamating, it's what we call reclamating, taking it back to its natural form or as close to its natural form as we can expect. So I am totally allowed to do this. This is my legal claim. I am responsible for things on my claim and it is my responsibility to clean up this mess that someone else left here. All legal, all on the up and up. Inspectors watch my videos. If I was doing something wrong, they would let me know. And so far they haven't let me know. So I should be in the good. Okay, so we moved the big rock that was down in that hole there, and we just pushed it over to the area where we've already, you know, got the grates out of. There's at least one more grate right there. We'll get that out. It might be tough because I think the end of the rock might still be on it, but we've pushed the rock kind of as far as we can. We'll try to get that one more grate out, and then see if there's more going this way. And hope there's nuggets right there. Now I know there's some of you right now yelling at and saying, Hey Dan, don't throw away that overburden. You're throwing away gold. <laughs> no, uh, here it's well known on this creek that the uh, gold is all sitting on bedrock. It's all sitting on the bottom, or in this case, sitting down in the riffles of the sluice. We could pan all of this overburden, all of it. And in, you know, a hundred pans here, we might get a few tiny fly poops. So we're just throwing it away to save time so we can get to the bottom where the nuggets might be. We want nuggets today. Does it taste like gold? If there was candy here, I would have tasted it. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Yeah, it's down there. You've been watching Polly too much, uh, I can tell. <laughs> where's the candy? We just pulled out a rock right there that was fairly big, went down fairly deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sample. I'm gonna take my shovel, dig down deep, go and put it in a pan, go pan it out. The grate that we know is right there. We're hoping there's more moving up this way, but I don't know because we're digging down pretty deep and I haven't heard my shovel hitting metal yet. So maybe that is the last grate, but even if that's the last grate, ahead of the grates could still be amazing. So. Let's do a sample and see what we come up with. One-handed shoveling, it's always great. Ah! <laughs> well, there we go, one full pan from one deep hole. gold but again that was the overburden got to get down into those grates before we have a real chance of getting those nuggets and the better side of rick i mean uh no uh <laughs> there was nothing in the pan rick nothing in the nothing. pan see that's why we put it up there yep there's nothing in that stuff <laughs> we got to get down into those grates he's deep down i feel like my canoeing muscles are getting stronger and stronger <laughs> And number two of the overburden type stuff, again, no gold. Are you getting down onto the grates in the bottom now? Feel Do you feel like, them? I feel something like that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be the grates. There is a rectangular plate that holds them down. Okay, like a bigger, there's something big there, yeah. Oh, something big. Like, I'm out about that feeling it right Oh, now. that might be like a ramp up onto yeah, the first one. That's, I think this is the end right Okay, here. so this might okay. be the start of it. I went way down right there. 
and it just keeps going. So it looks like Rick is saying that he can feel one last grate there and then some sort of ramp that leads up into the head of the sluice. So we have one grate to hope for a nugget in. But if you know sluices, if you know high bankers, if you know that kind of stuff, the biggest gold always falls out at the very front. So we have a chance. And then we'll look and see what's above the head of the sluice to see if there's any good options, possibilities there. Rick says he feels something on something top. Right there going this way. Even above. The bars yeah. that held down the grates were long skinny bars, like they're about four inches wide and so it goes bolts here. in them holding them down. Yummy. Unfortunately, we're just realizing that we got wa sitting water in here. So even if we get down to the bolts that hold the grates in place, I can't use my grinder to grind the bolt heads off. So we're gonna have to rely on the pry bar and hope we can break them off again. That was easier to do than grinding them off. Though this time I brought a real grindstone for the grinder, yeah. rather than that diamond thing I use for rocks. <laughs> So we'll better do a little video clip here to show what we're doing here. We had to roll the big rock over a little bit more so we get the other big rock pushed down a little farther. We realized that the grate that we're trying to get was actually underneath where we put that rock. So we had to move it another foot. Right in front of it is the last grate of the sluice. Right sort of where that shovel is, is the ramp up onto the sluice. We've cleared everything on top of the last grate. It's just a case of lifting the grate and panning the stuff that's in it now and keeping our fingers crossed for nuggets. Okay, so the hold down bar is right there. It's holding down the grate. I feel the last bolt. The last bolt is right here. I can't grind it off because it's underwater. So we're gonna do our best with the pry bar and see if we can break it off. Okay, Rick, can you pull from that direction? Yep. Let's hope it's rusty enough. Break, damn it, break! <laughs> Don't break Rick. Yeah. And the bolt is still. Oh, we're we're breaking through. I can feel nice. it. Nice. Let's see. I heard. I could feel like cracks. Like. Yeah. So something's given for sure. If you can grab where my fingers are, and we'll try to put a rock behind you, so you have something to really pry against. Oh! Did you get it? Something broke. Oh, did you slip off? Oh, it took a lot of work, but we got the bolt broken free. That was a lot of work, Ken. <laughs> One little pin. Another, another thing ah! that sort of dates this whole thing, that's not all that old. No. So, you know, back in the 80s, they could have bought those quite easily, so. That'd be an anchor bolt for I mean, concrete? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing this was made in the 80s. That's how it feels. It's as old as I am. <laughs> you, were made, you were made in the 80s? Born in 80. 1980. Okay, I got the bar underneath the edge. Rick here is going to lift up the grate. It takes some effort to get these grates up, that's for sure. Once we get the grate... Oh yeah, there it is. It's about to give way. Yeah. Once we get the grate up, we're going to go and uh, clear off all the material underneath it and pan it all out. Of course, our big rock is still slightly sitting on it, but that's okay. We can get the material out from underneath it now. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna go and pan what's in our two pans here, just to make sure that we're not throwing away a nugget because that was the stuff from around the top edge there. And while you work on that, and then I'll bring you two empty pans back and we can start filling pans with the material. Okay, good. There's a lot of material there. It's probably like five or six pans worth of stuff. Ooh. Let's hope five or six nuggets worth of stuff. So Rick is filling pans while I'm panning pans. And uh, we haven't broken into the grates yet. Right now we're just getting stuff from around the head of the grate and then we'll break into the grates and I, I'm i really looking forward to what's on the bottom in the grates. But for these first few pans, I'm gonna just uh, do the pans and if I find anything, I'll bring out the camera then. Okay, we did four pans in front of the grates and nothing. This is the first pan inside the grates. However, this is still the top material inside the grates. It's the bottom that has the good stuff.
think that's is that my first piece of gold? No, that was just pyrite. Pyrite fooled me. No gold yet. Well, there's a couple very, very tiny specks, but no gold. We got one tiny, tiny speck of gold in that last one. Oh, so that was the top half of this. So this should have something then. Because you're getting down to the bottom. Yeah. Two five hoops. Perfect. <laughs> you know, when Dan Heard says, "Oh, Ricky, it must be something good." Let's go check it out. See what he has over there. Whoa! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I there. A nugget. A nugget. A nugget. One tiny flake so oh, far. Oh, what do we have? See oh it? my God! <laughs> wow! Look how rusted it is. Jesus! You know that was sitting right beside one of those grates. I would, I've been chiseling at the side of the grate where the, the mineral rusts to the metal. That must have been, oh my God. <laughs> That's, oh, Whoa. at least a gram. Nice, Dan. Woo! <laughs> oh, one more reveal. Oh, oh. Ah. There it is. Beautiful. And there we go. There's the close-up camera on that nugget on the Whoa, front side. Oh, that's so <laughs> close, Jesus. <laughs> and there's the back side, the rusted side, which was obviously just sitting right against one of those grates. Definitely one of the dirtiest nuggets I've ever found. Good one. Like that <laughs> Rick, Rick is excited. He wants more. Just away. He wants more of them. I must have been sitting right against the metal grate because the back side is just covered, stained in rust. Never get tired of that sound. So if you're not familiar with my videos or familiar with this claim, this river is known to have nothing but big gold. You don't find flower gold or you don't find very much of it, but you find lots of big nuggets. That's why I love this place so much. It's so much more fun searching for nuggets than it is searching for, you know, flower gold. Some of my other claims, I can get more volume of flower gold than I can get here in nuggets, but the nuggets are so exciting to find. Absolutely love them. Well, that was exciting. Let's go get some more. I got another pan from the next set of grates. Let's hope for another nugget. Okay, it is time to separate the grate from the carpet below. Very gently, we'll just sort of pry the edges away from it and try to keep make sure that all of the material stays on the carpet because the best stuff, we haven't yet touched the best stuff. The best stuff's the stuff that you can't actually dig out of those cracks. Yeah, if we could get something to Let's, do, let's just there. see if we can pry the carpet away from the ends here. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and then you should be able to lift the, lift the end of the uh, grates. Up. Oh, God. What? <laughs> wow a quarter we could date this a little bit <laughs> yes it was well, at the we, bottom we don't really know because that could have come into it at any point right Too yeah bad. hey we just made 25 cents uh, Woo! unless it's a 2022 dan <laughs> then you're in trouble oh yeah he's free okay now we can just bash it all down onto the carpet and start scraping the carpet down so it's a 1987 quarter that helps us date this a little bit, kind of, but that quarter could have gone into the sluice at any time, really. But a mid 80s quarter sitting in the bottom of the sluice. When you got excited like that, I thought you found a nugget sitting in right. the bottom. You know what, it was just as cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. 
And I'm just checking out what uh, Rick is doing, hammering things away, and look at that. There's another coin in here. This is a nickel. So I would say the miners lost some change out of their pocket when they were building this thing. Or something. Oh, Back when Bryce and I were doing this, we were not this careful at all with these grates. Right? So who knows what we lost. Although, I was just wondering, like, did you guys, like, look at we can bang that one off. I'm I, don't th I don't think there'll be much in there, but we could. We could try. It could hold I don't that. think it's up attached to the metal. I think, if anything, it's going to be sitting down on the, uh, on the carpet. On the carpet, yeah. And a nickel and the quarters we found earlier we're making money today we're making money of course a nugget worth more than a hundred bucks too okay this is the last pan of scrapings off of the carpet so if there's gold anywhere other than the nugget we found this would be it this has the highest chance of showing us a gold nugget this pan here now that being said there was material that made it down around the carpet into the bottom. There was a hole in the carpet, so things went through that onto the bottom. And up in front of the riffle, we still have to clean the bottom really well. I'm putting all of my oversized tailings in one spot that I can metal detect later. I will swing the detector over that and see if it shows me any signals. Like a loony! I might definitely find some signals in here. <laughs> I thought for sure we'd have something in that one. I'm actually quite surprised there's nothing in this. Oh, Rick just came with the next one. Where's this from? One, one more from under the sluice now. Under That's the carpet. The last bit of carpet. The last yeah. bit of carpet and under. I'm surprised there's nothing there. I figured Crazy. for sure that the the main sort that of that one had a lot of banged up iron that was chiseling off. So that that proves that wrong. Right? Yeah. So it's not locked up in the rust. Okay, well, let's do that one. Strange. typical for this river. It gives you just enough to get extremely 
extremely excited. And then just nothing. Oh, we thought we were gonna have a huge payday, but just looks to be one big nugget. And a dollar thirty. And a dollar thirty and change. <laughs> Is it still stuff to work down there? Or? One more pan. One, One more hit stream up. One thing. more pan. Well, the illegal ground sluice produced one more really good nugget, a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of exercise, and now I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really happy with that one nugget. It is amazing, and I love finding that big gold. Our task now is to take those metal grates and carry them out of here because this river is about to flood, you know, any day now. So we gotta get these out of here so they don't get washed away and pollute the river. And clean up the rest of this ground sluice. Clean it all up, put rocks back in it, get it back to nature, let the flood do its thing, and you'll never know it was even here. It was a lot of fun to clean up this ground sluice, to clean it out, find the nuggets that we did, and I'm happy that we can clean up the environment a little bit. Well, here's the weigh-in of that nugget. 1.38 grams. So everyone, I think the illegal ground sluice is now done. We got to the top end and there is no more past it. We had a lot of fun, we found some really good nuggets, and we really love being out here cleaning up in the environment. Hope you all having a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me that like. If I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope I've earned your subscription now. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. To support my patrons, I get to make weekly episodes of Day on Herd Prospecting. If you haven't checked out Rick's channel, it's Renegade Prospectors on YouTube. Go check him out. Hope you're having a great day. And until the next one. Bye. Bye.